everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video today, we're going to take a quick look at fixing some of the issues that are causing the black screen problem in Power World. So this will fix some of the crashing issues as well. And a lot of these are just housekeeping issues, but we're going to go over the main ones anyway. And some of them are going to work for Game Pass and some of them are going to work for Steam. So let's get started. So first things first, make sure you're meeting the minimum system requirements. If you're trying to play this game without meeting the minimums, you're going to have a lot of problems. And also check out the recommended specs because they are quite high. So the first thing you're going to need to do is make sure you're using your graphics settings correctly. So don't try to push the game to the limit. Stick with what your hardware can actually handle. So once that's out of the way, if you're still having problems, the next thing to do is to jump over to Display Driver Uninstaller. So I'll leave a link for this in the description. So you can just download DDU. So once you have it downloaded, just run it and clean install your drivers. So this is it here. Just extract it. Run the DDU EXE and you'll get this pop up window here. Accept the little prompt. You can close this window straight away. Again, close the prompt. So here we have options. So we're going to do our GPU drivers. It'll automatically detect your GPU. So you've got NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel. Auto detected option works pretty really well. But if you do need to, you can switch between them. So obviously, you're going to get rid of your drivers for your main. GPU. So don't bother about the integrated one unless you are trying to play this game with integrated graphics, which I don't recommend. So once you've done that, just click the clean and restart option and then follow the prompts. I'm obviously not going to do that because I'll have to go through the entire process and I don't need to. So for the sake of this video, just follow those steps and go back, download the latest drivers and install everything. And you should have no more issues with the black screen problem. And it can also fix a lot of problems with crashing. So once you've done that, if you are using overclock settings, make sure you reevaluate those. You don't want to be using an overclock that doesn't work for this game. That'll cause you a lot of issues as well. I also suggest going and updating your BIOS. And finally, on the odd chance that you are already trying to use mods, don't bother using mods just yet. The game's getting a lot of updates and modders can't keep up. So avoid using mods for the time being. So the next thing you're going to need to do is to re-verify the files in the program you're using. So I'm currently playing on Xbox Game Pass via the Xbox app. So to verify game files, just right click on the game, go to manage. And here you'll see general and files. Just switch over to files and click verify and repair. Let this process complete and it should fix out any of the bugs and you should be able to start playing the game properly. So the next thing to do is to verify your game files in Steam. So I don't have Power World on Steam, but I'll show you how to do it for a generic game. So we've got the Adventure Pals, go to Properties, and then you can find the option here under Installed Files. So for you, you're obviously going to go to Power World, Installed Files, and then Verify Integrity of Game Files. Once you've done that, let it finish. It might take a little while and that should solve the problem. Other than that, as I said, make sure all your other stuff's up to date and definitely do your graphics drivers before anything else. And remember, the most important thing at this point in time is the game is super new, so there are going to be problems. It is still technically in a beta, so you're just going to have to live with some of it for the time being until they optimize things and sort out the problems. Anyway, that wraps up this guide. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Cheers, everyone.